since that's how I met him years ago. He's working hard, being funny, and he's doing a great job at it. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Bernie McLee. Good evening, motherfuckers. <laughs> now, uh, I live by a church, and we'll talk my ass. Now, I live by a church, and uh, they ring the bell every hour, but like it fucks me every once in a while because like, I look at my DVR, and the DVR says that the hour didn't change it. So, like, I got to think which one's more accurate. I, the, the DVR is set by service electric, the bell, the bell is set by God. <laughs> <laughs> now, I ran some tests. Now one day, I went into a recording that said it was Marvel Simpsons, and I put it on and watch the fucking Family Guy. And I said I got good points to God because the service electric dropped the fucking ball. <laughs> but another time, I was flipping past and I saw a televangelist spot, and out of curiosity, I had the info button. And now it says I'm watching 1995 film Armageddon starring Bruce Willis. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck to get points to there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I was thinking about like next TV. I was thinking about uh, like old movies. You always see the guy offer the drug dealer offers somebody who never did it before. He offers him taste. He never smoked like crack or meth before. But you never see is the guy like, oh, I don't care. Well, this I watch a camera on my window green or for out to water bottle. Kick him in the ass. Get the fuck out of here. No time for that shit. <laughs> On the other side of that coin, and you never go to the produce department and see a guy in the corner and just go, psst, come here. And he offers you an apple and you get hooked up in nutritious goodness. Like, that's not good. <laughs> so I think, I think the apple market would probably do better if they fucking, like, came and sent or some shit like that. But you have to call RCF on that one. You thought I was going to say God? You didn't listen to the first show. <laughs> No, uh, like God's not a weird thing because like people always talk about like like weed compared to alcohol. I like to think about like uh, like holistic medicine versus like other types of painkillers. Because if, if you're out in the yard and you're doing something, you hurt your back, you come out, come inside, you smoke, you go back out there, you get back to work, right? But if you go to the doctor and you do what they tell you to do, and a guy hands you a fucking bottle of like synthetic heroin and winks at you, goes, only take one. <laughs> Next thing you know, your neighbors are standing out on the front lawn saying, Oh, you ever happened to Jim? No, what happened to Jim? Oh, he lost his left fucking arm off, poor bastard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> no, but like the other thing we've got is like people always pray to win the lottery, which I don't understand at all. Like not even a little bit. Because like if you won the lottery, a lot of people say it because they're thrill seekers, you know, I mean they want to do something different every day. But that's cool. Take the number of things you can think of that would be different to do every day that you need money to do and divide it by 365. And that's how many years it would take you to be bored with that shit. Eventually, you're going to resort to crime. Whether you're either fighting it or committing it, either way, somebody with a lot of money and a lot of wealth and a very well equipped is hitting the streets with purpose. That's an epic. <laughs> No, but uh, I'll do like one last thing for you because I, I really, I wish I had this bit was longer and it isn't. Um, <laughs> no, I have bad internet at my house, which is horrible, and I listen to music all the time. And what happens is like the internet will cut out and it'll sit there for a minute and you forget you were listening to music. But then like 20 minutes later it kicks back in and all you hear is like mystical go, move, bitch, get out of the way, and like raise your hand, like damn, bro. <laughs>